What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel here at Hidden Heights Farm. The turkeys are saying hi. And I think I have the solution for Daisy taking all these medicines. Hopefully this works. Uh, we're gonna go try it out here in just a little bit. It's been raining on and off all day. And if you guys caught the last video, I showed you the new exciting triplets here on the farm, the baby goats. Um, the Kiko pygmies are in full swing. The kidding season, I guess you can say, is really beginning even though we had some kids over a month ago um the triplets yesterday we got mamas that are about to pop and i just was fixing to start this video and i look out here and i see a little tail wagon and i think it's a mama that just had another baby that's what we're gonna go check so we're gonna check them real quick and we're not gonna feed them yet because i don't want everybody to start running over here but as you can see everybody's in the barn because it's raining but princess so let's go see what miss princess has on the ground here i seen her over here earlier just about 30 minutes ago kind of staying by herself and i knew it wasn't going to be long but of course i wasn't able to catch it on camera because it happened real quick and i'm not going to mess with her too much because i think she still might be having another one you see oh butterscotch here is a. Uh, being a nanny or whatever you want to call it, she's the midwife, kind of checking things out, looking at the baby. I can't tell the, the gender yet, the boy or girl. It's a, not sure. She's got some stuff hanging out behind her. But I'm going to let Mama kind of clean it up and bond with it a little bit. And maybe in a little bit we'll come back and check on the uh, gender. What we got here? We got two turkeys left. They just witnessed the uh, birthing. What do you think there, Tom? Princess, you got another baby or are you done? Huh? I don't want to get too close. I'll leave you alone. I just wanted to come out here and check. Hey, Butterscotch. Butterscotch. Keep an eye on her, okay? All right, let's go look at these triplets while we're out here. Since we're not going to feed yet, let's see where the triplets are. Oh my gosh. You a uh, proud daddy? Huh? You got anything to say? Chip, you done a good job. Your first babies were triplets. How about that? Are you comfortable there? And now these babies are going to have some friends to play with. Even though you can see how big these babies are. These were the first babies of the uh, season over here on this side of the field or the farm. So they're, uh, they're about two months old now. And you can see their size. What do you got going on? <laughs> Looky here, guys. Look at this little butterscotch colored uh, baby. Oh, you just fogged up the camera. What are you doing? Quit that. So looky here guys. These are the babies, the triplets. And they have been out here all day jumping and playing just like they're a week old already. So that is a very good sign. They've been nursing on mama. They've been playing. They've been very active. <laughs> oh, that is funny. That's a little girl. What are you doing? Huh? <laughs> Dog pile. Oh my gosh. Baby goats are the cutest, guys. You all gonna play for me? Huh? Did I disturb your nap? Mama's over there calling for him. What are you doing, huh? What are you doing? So those two are the girls, and that's the little boy right there. There you go, little boy. Little waggy tails. Cute little babies. Cute little babies. Uh-oh. There's the teenagers. 
Oh, they're gonna try to get mean, Mama. Good job, Mama. Don't let them be mean to your babies. Cal Cammy just got a hold of one. She just told him, hey, you leave those babies alone. So here are the triplets. It's a good start. What do you say? They're figuring their legs out and they're starting to jump around and stretch out. Stretch your muscles all out. They play a little bit, take a long nap, get up, get a drink of milk, play a little bit, take a nap, do it all day long and all night. Mama is going to be busy raising triplets, but uh, she's got that nice big udder full of milk. She's not going to have any problems. She's a good mama. We actually called through a bunch of our goats last year when we had a bunch of uh, does over here. And the ones that weren't the best moms... Um, we just went ahead and got rid of them, which pretty much all of them took care of their moms, but some of them were just better than others. So, alright, there you go. You guys don't get in too much trouble, okay? Butterscotch, you're supposed to be watching the new baby. So, by the size of this baby, guys, I'm gonna say... It's going to be a single. Princess actually had a single last year. And I mean, this thing's not even cleaned off all the way. She's still got to clean it off. And it is a little boy. So the boy numbers continue to climb. As long as it's healthy, we're fine with it. Having the boys is fine because, like I said, we do make good profit off of selling the boys. The girls we keep, if they're healthy and everything, we'll keep on the farm to grow our herd numbers. And this little this little goat here, Bambi, she's kind of staying to herself, so there's a chance she might be next. You can see all the other goats are kind of out and about waiting for me to come feed them. The ones that are getting real close, they usually are real standoffish. They don't want anybody bothering them. You know, they kind of act like they're sick or they don't feel good. And that's what Princess was doing all morning long, even staying out in the rain, even though she has access to that barn. But that's what she decided to do. And she had the baby over there by the turkey pen. So Ebony is another one that should be getting close. You can kind of see, let's see how wide she is. Yeah, she's, she's getting wide. She's not quite there. What do you think? She's a good girl though. And the one I'm thinking is going to be next is Princess or Ghostface. And I didn't see Ghostface, did I? Where's Ghostface? Hold on. I didn't see Ghostface. So we're going to go back to the barn and see if uh, she's in the stall because that just reminded me I thought she was going to have babies before Princess. Let's go check real quick. Sorry, guys, I just about forgot. I'm back, Mama. Let's see if we can find Princess. Excuse me. Princess. Look at here. <laughs> I figured, I know you can't hardly see in here, but because of the light, but uh, she's in here making a little nest, it looks like, and uh, kind of staying to herself, just like I said. So she's probably gonna have some babies here. We're gonna leave her alone. Do your thing, girl. Ooh, we need to come out and collect eggs. The girls have been uh, laying really good here lately. You guys are still here. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, so like I said, I almost forgot about Princess. She's in there. I'm going to guess by tonight sometime she'll probably have more babies, so stay tuned to the uh, next video. And that's a good reason to subscribe. If you are not subscribed to our channel, hit that button down below right now. And hopefully on our next video, we'll have more baby goats for you guys. The time has come. Um, we've been doing a lot of livestock guardian dog videos here lately, trying to cover the story of Daisy and uh, the Ehrlichia tick-borne disease that she has. And that's what we're fixing to go do now. We're gonna go grab those little 
pill pocket thing so those little treats that you can stuff the pills down in and we're gonna see if that works since the peanut butter pretty much ruined her from uh <sighs> hot dogs i messed up and i dipped the hot dogs in peanut butter and she absolutely hates peanut butter so now i can't use our old trick of stuffing the pills in the hot dogs to get her to take her medicine and the uh disease she has the ehrlichia it's very very important that she gets the medicine every day she's got to take this medicine for like 28 days right out a month it's a uh, pretty bad disease but we've got to take care of her got to make sure she gets better because this is something that can be deadly and thank god she hasn't had any nosebleeds or any weird stuff going on just just a little bit of snot which is way better than what she had so let me grab these little pill pockets and uh i'll grab pill pouches this is made by, by milk bone uh seen these on amazon i couldn't find them in our local stores so i ordered them on amazon got them in two days and it's perfect timing because i needed these so let me go grab her prescriptions and we'll head out and go see how she's doing hey guys real quick i want to show you guys a new flashlight that olight has sent us so this is the baton 3 and this little flashlight has been around for a while but now olight has come up with this little mobile charging case that's right you can actually use this thing up use all the battery up and it will recharge your little baton 3 3.7 times that is amazing it's got a ma magnetic lid slides right in there it's all magnetic slides right out and the cool thing about this is even if you don't want to use the mobile charger you can still use your uh, usb charger with the magnetic and uh as you can see behind me here i got all kinds of these olight flashlights absolutely love flashlights rachel and the kids love flashlights we got olights all around our house so if you're one of those people that still have the old style flashlights, whether it just be a double A or triple A, whatever, or if you got the big long mag lights that take $40 of uh, the D size batteries, get rid of them. Go visit our friends at Olight and um, they're running a flash sale. It starts March 18th at 8 p.m. and it's going to be running until March 19th at 11.59, pretty much midnight. So uh, if you use the uh, code HIDDEN2020, you'll receive an extra 10% off of your order. And that is only good for things that are not on their flash sale. But on their flash sale, you can pick things up like this. And the little charge case, this is all comes together. And uh, a lot of these lights are going to be like 35% off. And I'm telling you guys, you, this thing is so concealable. And look at this. Look how bright this thing is. This is just a little bitty light, and uh, it is super bright. So, anyways, guys, uh, go check them out. They got this little clip on there. You can put it right on your hat. Just like that. You can flip it up the other way, however you want to do it. And it's got three different settings. I think on the lowest setting, you can run this thing like, I don't even know, like five hours or something. And uh, that's the max setting that I got it on right there. But this is my little, this is my little go-to light. Stick this thing in my bug out bag, and now you got this. If you're ever lost or scared in the dark, you can recharge this thing 3.7 times. So go check them out. All right, guys, so we got the pill pouches and just this pepperoni stuff that she really loves, just in case the pill pouches don't work. I don't see her out here. It's kind of raining. And let me uh, talk about something real quick on this. Um, hopefully, well, I'm using the GoPro 9 and when I'm out here filming, I can't tell about the uh, audio quality or the video quality. So if this is messed up, I apologize guys. Like I said, it's been raining on and off and I didn't want to bring my big camera out here. So I grabbed the Go GoPro 9 and I noticed in the last video I used it, the last clip for some reason, the angle was really weird and kind of, kind of had to tilt your head. I couldn't, I couldn't adjust it in my editing software where it needed to be. So I apologize for that. You can see these goats look really weird. See their hair? It's just cashmere starting to come out. I mean, they look really nasty. Not all the goats have it, but most of the Spanish goats. This one here almost has polka dots all over. So I'm guessing Miss Daisy is in the barn waiting to be catered. 
I got all her uh, pill bottles in my pocket. She don't like being in the rain much unless she has to and I don't see her. So, actually, she might be out fighting crime. I don't know. Let's find her. Daisy! Come on, girl! <whistles> Daisy! I don't see her yet. She might have got a whiff of a coyote and decided to chase him. Every once in a while, she'll jump the fence. There she is. She's way over there behind the fence. I don't think you guys can see her. But she's doing her patrols. She picked up on some scent and uh, she's doing her guard. She's walking on the outside of our fencing. She heard me whistle for her. She never goes too far. That is one good thing about her. Um, a lot of livestock guardian dogs will chase predators a long ways and even great pyrenees they like to travel even if they're not chasing anything they like to travel a lot they'll jump the fence and actually go for miles come on days come on girl got your uh treats don't tell her i got her medicine so she's got a spot where she goes i don't know if you guys can see her now she's walking along that fence to a spot where she knows she can get back in so we're gonna let her get back over here and we'll see if this works i'm praying this works because ever since i tried the peanut butter she's got real real picky on the way she will take her meds hey will you stop this ain't for you sticky face look how sticky these uh goats faces get from that lick tub let me let me show you guys how much they've been eating on this thing he just stands on this food and eats it. So they're doing some damage to this thing. It was a 250 pound tub. And they're going to pound on it. Alright, so Daisy's coming. I know you guys probably can't see her at this GoPro. I don't have no zoom on it. So let's meet her. Let's meet her on the outside so we ain't got to deal with these goats. And again, guys, I'm sorry if this audio stinks. Uh, this is only the second time I've used this no new GoPro. The GoPro 8, the audio is really good on it. And I noticed on this one, it's not quite the same. So, I don't know if it's just a setting or what. And like I said, I'm trying to do all this one-handed, so bear with me. What are you doing? Hmm? Are you chasing something? Right, Can't let them out. Hmm. Daisy, what are you doing? Come here. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. I got your treats right here. Come on. Come here. Let's show everybody how you squeeze through there. Come on. Come here. Come on, Daisy. Nope, she ain't gonna do it. Come here, girl. Hey, come here. Come here. Here it is. Don't you head butter. Come here, Daisy. Come here, Daisy. Come here. Come here. That's how she squeezes through the gate. Barely fits. Alright, well. Hold on, let me uh, get this tied back before the goats get smart. I know I got something in my hand. Okay. Come here, girl. Let's get over here. Come here. Hey, come here. Looky here. Hey, looky here. What are you doing? How huh? are you chasing? Let me see your nose. You got a little snot. Nothing like it was. You want a treat? Hmm? You deserve a treat. You deserve a treat. Look. Hey. Look. Hey. Yeah. You like those? Hmm? You like them? Okay. Alright, hold on. Let's try this. Okay, hold on. Alright guys. So, let's see if you guys can see these or not. So they're just a little cubed treat with a little hole in the middle. Come here. And let's do this first. Come here. I don't think they want to see your behind. Hey, sit still. Sit. Good girl. 
Little girl. I know you're not supposed to show them doing this and all that, but it's not that easy. I'm gonna squeeze it together. That's good. Swallowed it, nothing dropped on the ground. So what I like to do is I do one at a time because you have to make sure she gets these medicines. And as I do it, I'll put the one that she's already swallowed in my back pocket. I keep the ones that she has not taken in the front. Hey, you want another treat? Sit down. Sit. Sit. There you go. Well, looky there, guys. That's a good girl. You like them, don't you? One more. So I'm not giving her her vitamin K right now. I'm actually saving that in case she starts bleeding again. I don't want to use them all up because there's really no reason to give it to her if uh, she's not bleeding. Okay, if you eat this one, I will give you your favorite jerky snack. How about that? You like these, huh? They smell kind of weird, like, I don't know. What do you think about that? <laughs> All right, let's do our advertisement. Let's do our thumbnail. Look, let's do our thumbnail. This work, guys. What do you think? You hate doing thumbnails, don't you? Is that a good thumbnail? You think we got a good thumbnail? All right, since you were a big girl, you're going to get a whole turkey snack. Look at this. Look, here's a double. Here's a double. Don't tell Skeeter or Mojo. How about that? All right. Good girl. Good girl. We did it, guys. We did it. What you got to say? You telling everybody thank you for all the thoughts and prayers and support. Yeah, we got a lot of good followers. So there you go, guys. The uh, milk bone pill patches work. If you guys got to give your goats, goats. If you guys got to give your dogs medicine, I uh, I will uh, definitely tell you these work. I'll put a link down in the description on Amazon where we ordered these. If you guys are interested in them, you seen how easy it was. She absolutely hates peanut butter. I know a lot of you said peanut butter works. A few of you said your dogs hate peanut butter too, which you would think a dog would love peanut butter. You just assume it. And let me show you a good site. If you're a farmer, this green is a good site, but this clover is even better. When you raise goats, they absolutely love clover. It's a uh, good, good nutrient protein for them. And I don't know what these little flowers are, but I think you can eat them even as a human. And I'm coming out here just to check this compost pile. The chickens have absolutely <laughs> stirred this up for me, which is a good thing. I had it piled up way higher the other day. But you can see all these little holes and stuff where the chickens have been in it. Kind of kicking around, getting all the grub worms and all that out of there. So that's good because it aerates it and it helps the bacteria break it down. And the good Lord has been providing rain for us. And it's been in a good way. It hasn't been a golly wash to where it washes everything away. And that reminds me, let's go out here before I end this video. I'm fixing in the video, I promise. But guys, I planted 150 pounds of ryegrass. And no, I planted 100 pounds of oats and 50 pounds of ryegrass. So what we're doing is we're going to walk out here somewhere where there wasn't much grass or anything at all is just kind of bare and we're going to see if this stuff's starting to sprout i don't see any seeds hopefully the dang chickens ain't found them um we do have a lot of uh turnips i planted these turnips last fall and it was way too cool so the seeds never really did anything but now i can see they're coming up so that's a good sign um there's some of that uh, oat seed that little white thing it looks like rice that's oat and they're getting a good soaking right now so there's some more right there they should be sprouting like any day you can't really see the ryegrass but there's one on that rock right there i ain't gonna do nothing but that there's a ryegrass right there that little bitty bitty looks like a little bug egg or something 
So with this weather, the ground temperature, um, the mezzanite radar said it's like right at 50 degrees, which that's what it needs to be for these seeds to sprout. And we've been getting this rain, light rain so far, which is key because I don't know if you guys can see or not, but it's at a big incline. Our whole property just kind of goes downhill on both sides. We live kind of on the top on a plateau. And then we got big haulers or canyons on each side of our property. So when it rains hard and you plant seeds and stuff, a lot of times what happens is all that seed and stuff, if it rains real hard, washes all downhill and it's just a big waste. But I just seen some more turnips. I think Daisy's standing on them. But there's some turnips that are gonna, or not, yeah, turnips, turnips, turnips. Purple top turnips. You can see you got more clover. So I think we're gonna be good. Uh, probably in another, maybe just a couple days or a week if i could just get this seed to sprout because if it don't sprout and you turn the goats loose they're going to eat it all because i promise you they can smell it and they act like they're starving so anyways guys i'm going to wrap up this video thank you guys so much for the continued support subscribe if you are not subscribed and uh like this video leave a comment and we'll see you next time